Throughout our life, we often try to find motivation from others to motivate ourselves. Sometimes we are confident, sometimes overconfident, but we should never become self-fascinated because it can lead us to the unexpected failure which was never designed for us. We have to understand the distinction between personal calling and self-fascination. The story is about an alchemist who have come across a story that changed his perception about life. So let's get started. The alchemist picked up a book that someone in the caravan had bought. Leafing through the pages, he found a story about Narcissus. The alchemist knew the legend of Narcissus, a youth who knelt daily beside a lake to contemplate his own beauty. He was so fascinated by himself that one morning he fell into the lake and drowned. At the spot where he fell, a flower was born which was called the Narcissus. But this was not how the author of the book ended the story. He said that when Narcissus died, the goddesses of the forest appeared and found the lake, which had been fresh water transformed into a lake of salty tears. The goddesses asked the lake, Why do you weep? The lake replied, I weep for Narcissus. Then the goddesses said, Ah, it is no surprise that you weep for Narcissus. For though we always pursued him in the forest, you alone could contemplate his beauty close at hand. Then the lake asked, But was Narcissus beautiful? The goddesses said in wonder, Who better than you to know that? After all, it was by your banks that he knelt each day to contemplate himself. The lake was silent for some time, and finally it said, I weep for Narcissus, but I never noticed that Narcissus was beautiful. I weep because each time he knelt beside my banks, I could see in the depths of his eyes my own beauty reflected. What a lovely story it is, isn't it? Tell me in the comment section what you have learned from this story. Thanks for watching. Have a good time guys.